Hello everyone and welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the November reads. We are starting off with the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We are using the Tarot Mucha for the November reads. Um, I chose this one specifically because November is... Kind of more of a traditional holiday. Not only, you know, is it um, all about tradition. It's about being thankful, right, for what you have. And this was the first deck that I was gifted. And actually the reason why I started the YouTube channel. So for me, it makes sense to use it for the November reads. Because what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for let me let me make the shout out for Scorpio season to my friend Bree which is the person who gave me the tarot mucho and her son Hayden who are both Scorpios so this is their season right here right now on top of that um so yeah so you're gonna see this deck for November this is the one that we're going to harness the energies for. For the mid-check-in, I'm most likely going to do the Celtic Cross. Um, the, yeah, the Celtic Cross for the mid-month uh, mid check-in. Like I said, tradition and, and being grateful. I'm just trying to stick along those lines. Um, there's a couple of things I want to say. Hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember. Um... So, December, I'm giving out two free personal readings, um, and they will be for the year ahead. So, what are you gonna yeah, sorry, I'm giving out uh, two free personal readings um, for the 100th subscriber of my channel, as well as the 100th subscriber for the podcast, the YouTube podcast, What's the Word? Um, I'll have all of the um, details in the description box below. Um, I am doing a collaboration with the podcast on Halloween. So if you guys want to go ahead and support the channels, like I said, um, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to... To, you know, subscribe to both because you get then you get double the chance. Just make sure that when you subscribe, you make sure to comment below on on the video and let me give me um, an Instagram link or somewhere, um, you know, your Instagram name. Just give me something where I could contact you personally on Instagram and we will work out the details for how. Um, I'm going to do the personal reading for you, okay? It will be a video, so it does not matter if you are out of state or um, out of the country. It really doesn't matter. It will be posted on YouTube on a private setting, so you will have your own personal link to it. Nobody else will have um, access to it unless you yourself share the link, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's all. So 100 subscriber um, for both the what's the word podcast and for here for my channel for the star of the universe tarot channel okay all right let's see oh yeah and by i want to do it by december 1st so i'll try to have if we have the 100 subscribers by you know the end of the month then definitely i'll have it done by the first the personal reading if not then i'll i'll have it done by mid-December. So you'll have it before Christmas for sure. Okay. Now, let's kind of talk about what we have going on here. We are going to... We have the last week of October going into the first week of November. The first week of November going into mid-month. And mid-month going into the end of of the of November. Um, we're going to use Lucy Candivish's, um Oracle of the Mermaid to figure out what the hidden drive is, how you and Spirit are co-creating to make sure that this month runs smoothly 
and then I will be um, doing clarifications with the fairy fairy tarot deck. It's very, very new. So I'm actually not going to do jumpers from this pack because they're just really, really sticky. So I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to clarify one by one. Okay, so hidden drive for, oh, not too many. Hidden drive for the first week of November. Hidden drive for mid-November. And then hit and drive for the end of November. Okay. And then at the end of the um, the reading, I'll go ahead and throw a um, dragon oracle card for any final advice. Um, I'll also get a possible outcome after clarifications, okay, with with the tarot, with the mucha tarot. Okay. All right, Taurians, let's get into this. Also, guys, remember that these are general readings. If it doesn't resonate, go ahead and check any and all your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All my videos are timeless. Also, um, Hunter's Full Moon videos are already posted. All right. Oh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Starting off the reading tours, we have Seven of Pentacles. That is heavy investment in something that you've had passion for, something that you've been working on for quite a while, so much so that you're starting to actually see um, the fruits of your labor really start um, to, to start pouring out, you see? How he has some already picked and some that are still growing. You're starting to see the, the beginnings, the sproutings, if not um, the actual blossoms of what you've been working on. You have the Page of Pentacles. This, this has to do with an offer, something solid with probably to do with this investment that you've been working on. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This is Leo Energy. The, so you have to you have to divine um, divine timing cards because seven of pentacles can be divine timing and will of fortune is definitely divine timing so you are waiting like look you're waiting with anticipation knowing that this will is going to turn for you you're just at this point you're resting and you're being patient which us taurians were great at being patient and this is you again look at the empress libra taurus virgo cancerian energy we are chilling, big chilling. We know that the seeds that we have sown are definitely going to be showing uh, bread pretty soon. This is um, this is Taurus in all of their power. The Empress, um, male or female, doesn't matter. You know, no gender specific. But we are definitely in our power using the law of attraction. We ain't chasing nothing. Everything is coming to us. All right, beautiful. Okay, let's get into the mid of November. We have the sun. Woo, Leo again. Sheer happiness. We're definitely um, in a good place right now. Um, I know that Taurus, we've been, uh, Taurus is in general, we've been kind of having um, a little bit of problems. Not, not necessarily problems as much as just... Um, going probably through some self-worth issues um, as a collective. So just coming into November, knowing that by mid-November we are in this share happiness is actually great news. Okay, and then we have the Hermit Virgo Energy. This is going in and really healing yourself, really taking the time to plan for the future, Find the star inside of your heart and really drive towards your passions. The, like I said, you probably could be in the middle of a resting or incubating period during this time. Because 
everything has been manifesting slowly up into this point. You do have a lot of pentacles here. This is, um, that is earth energy. So you definitely know that you've been in your element or you're definitely coming into your element for sure. Okay. We have the seven of cups. This talks about fantasizing, but this is also illusion, and that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. While you are in hermit mode or while you are in rest and contemplation, do not be overthinking your options. Do not overthink. Do not overthink your options. Do not overthink your plans. Do not overthink anything. Like it's okay to daydream, just don't and don't don't get lost in the daydream. Remember that when you're asking and you're manifesting, it's some it's this or better. So even if you don't if you see parts of your manifestation Alec. If you see parts of your manifestation, you know, coming coming in, but you're a little confused. I could yeah, I'm getting a little confused here. Um about what or why this is coming towards you <clears throat> it's this this could very well be an illusion it could be an illusion to um to stray you from this happiness that you've been working towards yourself yeah we have the king of pentacles that's you taurus once again standing in your power you are here you are standing uh, you're really just standing in your own um, in your own energy, in your own power, you're all over the place here, Taurus, you, you, yeah, you're embodying your energy, you're embodying your energy, you could be dealing with another earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I, I feel like it's just you, this is your Empress energy, this is your King of Pentacles energy, you are, you are embodying both Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine at will, good job. Good job. <laughs> that is some that is some beautiful multitasking. <laughs> All right. For the end of the end of the month, we have the Ace of Cups. This is a brand new emotional fulfilling beginning. The Page of Cups. This is an emotional offer, possibly apologies, but definitely a lot of love and emotion and um, ex expression of love or expression of, of feelings. And then we have the Eight of Cups. We have a lot of water energy, you guys. Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer. We have the Eight of Cups here. This is walking away from anything that's no longer emotionally fulfilling. And conflict. Five of Wands. You know what? Everything was really good in November until the end, huh? <laughs> it's like... It's like this, this new emotional beginning trigger something in someone, either you or someone you're dealing with, Taurus, to cause a lot of conflict. And it's going to force you to walk away from them. Okay. All right. Let's see. So for the first, for the end of no, um, sorry, for the end of October going into November, the hidden drive is experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance. Okay, so this is why we're waiting. I don't think I think that we know that the situation is beyond our control at this point, and. There's no point in trying to experiment with with the unknown. You get me? On some, we're going to be safe instead of sorry. Because we know that the wheel is going is, is just about to turn in our direction. We're in, we're in, we're in full-on empress mode. There's no reason why 
I should juggle my happiness and risk being in an illusion with when I could be set in my own power. Okay. So for the hidden drive, we have uh, for the second week of November, we have falling in love, kissing the divine in another in, in yourself. And the crane, sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, and choice. This is kind of like the lover's energy um, I'm getting here. And really, it could be that you started a relationship with someone else. And it's in a good place right now. And that's why you 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 know that the will is spinning in your direction. You know that you're in Empress energy. You know that you're happy because you you found someone to share your happiness with. The problem is that now that you've found this, like I said, this share happiness. I keep hearing share happiness. That's so cute. It's just like oh, all the loves. <laughs> um. There's a choice. There's a choice now because someone sees that you're happy and they... I want to say that they want to come fuck it up. Because I keep hearing in my head, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. But <laughs> um, that could just be me. But I am definitely seeing that someone is trying to present themselves as an option. Like trying to offer this, you know this stability but they're coming in kind of like as a page like a little bit of an emotional outburst I'm, I'm getting and that's what makes you want to walk away because no like this isn't going to get any better this is just this is going to get worse before it gets better and you've decided that in order to stay in your power to stay in this empress energy you have to walk away you have to walk away there's no there is no choice and in doing that you have the selkie in her skin reclaiming reclaiming your authenticity all right let's start clarifying um we're gonna do everything individually okay since we already know what the drive is we're just gonna go one by one based on what came out from the tarot mucha. Okay. Tell me about the seven of pentacles spirit for my Taurus for November, please. My Taurus collective, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Okay, we have the ten of spring. Ask for help from others. All work and no play being weighted down by too many responsibilities. This is the Ten of Wands. So you're definitely, you, you need help. And it's kind of funny because if you see the Seven of Pentacles here, he's kind of doing everything on his own too. The Ten of Wands is, uh, what the Ten of Wands is telling me is that you definitely um, have came into the conclusion that this is something that you cannot do by yourself. Okay. For the Page of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups. No more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arrives from overanalyzing the options. So, even though you've put down this heavy burden, you're still in your head about an offer that that it, that's probably um, a type of manipulation in nature in in a way and that's why experiments is what's driving you through you know that it's very possible that this has nothing to do with you and that's why you're taking a step back to really fall into your empress energy in order to let that will to continue spinning in your direction okay the Will of Fortune. We have the Seven of Spring. This is um, the Seven of Wands. Be assertive. Don't look. 
don't back down from what you believe and courageously stand up for yourself. And the seven of wands is basically about blocking yeah. someone to make yeah. sure that to make sure that you are um, protecting yourself, not just yourself, but protecting what is yours. All right, the Empress, we have Renewal. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future, understanding your life purpose and releasing judgments of yourself and others. This is like judgment, um, uh, Sagittarian energy, I believe. This is a very new deck, you guys. I'm sorry if I don't have it all together just yet. I literally have only had it for a couple days. Okay, the sun. The four of winter. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation and the need for more sleep or a vacation. So this is basically the four of um, swords energy. Your, you, your happiness has taken such a toll in your life. Or um, defending your happiness has taken such a toll in your life that you really do need to step back and rest and take a break from all of this. Um, I want to say all of these, um, all of these things just piling up on you. The Hermit. We have the Three of Summer. Send news worth celebrating announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births, and friends you cherish. This is the Three of Cups of energy. So this, there is, there's something hidden. It's very possible that with the Hermit energy and falling in love and the Three of Cups, this is, this is something that's being celebrated um, under, under the wraps. So this year, happiness that you're getting from the sun could literally be um, hidden. It's not something that you're expressing to everyone, uh, maybe close friends with friends you cherish here, but this is something that that you've been keeping to yourself. Can you tell me about the Seven of Cups? We have the Three of Autumn. This is the Three of Pentacles. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. Oh, see? Don't get lost in the illusion of the options. You know what you do best. You know what you stand out in. And it's up to you to really um, stay in that type of power. And not doubt yourself. You need to trust your intuition. You have balance. This is the strength card. Uh, Leo energy it takes everyone's input take everyone's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution and take your time there's no need to rush there's no need to rush pentacles are very slow moving energies and you know us Tauruses we like to take our time because we like to know all of the details we're never rushed. Even when we feel rushed for time, we're never rushed because we'd rather do things right the first time than do it fast and have to redo it. Because I, I feel like as a Taurus, like no no Taurus would be proud to turn in half ass work. Like there's just no I can't I can't say that I know a Taurus that would be happy with that. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. We have the Prince of Autumn. This is the um, Page of Pentacles. Dependable, protective, shrivelous, and humorous. Cautious, but wise action. Meticulous attention to detail and kindness to others. So even though you feel yourself stressed and you feel that you're going through such a hard time right now, trying to reclaim your authenticity, you know that you still have love for those who love you. And it puts you in this place 
that allows you to act cautiously and wise, but at the same time, you're still um, a kindred spirit. You still have that kindness for others, and you still have love for the people, like I said, that love you. So for the Page of Cups, we have the Three of Spring. Plan your next step with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Three of Spring is uh, the, three of, um, the Three of Wands. So you already know the work that you've put in. You already know that your ships are about to dock soon and you just need to be ready, open and ready to receive them. The Eight of Cups. We have the Two of Winter. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. This is the Two of Swords. This is the land of indecision, but the truth is that you know that the longer you take to make a decision to walk away, because that's the right decision. That's why you have the Eight of Cups right here, because if you don't walk away, there is going to be constant conflict here. Tell me about the Five of Wands. The wheel, yeah. Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck. A new car or travel. Yeah, you're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> you're you're not gonna deal with it anymore. If it if it is not emotionally serving you, if it is not good for you, if it is not in some way, shape, or, or form helping you get to where you need to go, you're letting that shit go. And I want to say that the moment that you start. We have the Ten of Swords that wanted to pop out while I'm talking, which is telling me that, yeah, the will. Like, this is the end of a very painful cycle here. And it comes when you have the strength to, to know that you yourself are dependable and you can make wise decisions on your own. And when you make those decisions, you're going to get into that Three of Wands energy where you're going to start feeling like, okay, it's time to watch my ships um, sail in. However, when you're, I think a big caution, a big caution flag I see here is while you're waiting for your ships to come in, you cannot be in a land of indecision. You have to stay strong. You have to stand by your decisions that you made. And then that's when the will of fortune is going to start turning in your direction to lead you away from all of this conflict. Okay, so we got a po um, possible outcome. We have the Ten of Swords, which we talked about. The end of a very, very painful cycle. We have the Three of Cups, which is celebration. And then strength. Leo energy. You know that this cycle is coming to an end. Just don't celebrate prematurely. Have strength. Hold. Have strength to tame the beasts within. You know, like, you know that all this is coming for you. Just don't, don't jump the gun. Don't be too excited. Don't, don't speak prematurely. Like, don't. Um, just like whatever, like practice discernment, practice discernment, whatever it is that you're working on behind the scenes, um, until that baby is up in fruition and you could see, you know, all of the, all of everything that you've been working for, or at least, you know, the, enough of the picture for somebody to catch the bigger picture then you know you're you know that you'll be ready but for right now just just work on yourself start letting go of these heavy burdens understand yourself release 
release any judgments of yourself. Forgive yourself. Heal. Know that that news is coming for you. Know that balance is around the corner. Know that you're dependable. Know that you yourself can make your own wise decisions and you don't have to depend on anybody. You don't need to be in the land of indecision because like you have the you started with the wheel over here and you have the will you're ending with the will no matter what you do no matter what you decide that will of fortune is going to be in spinning upwards in your direction okay let's see what we got here from the dragons we have the fire dragon burns up the lower energies around you you are safe and protected be determined and inspire clear your soul pathway and that's this dragon right here too it's crazy let's see let's read out the book okay we have fire dragon burns up the lower energies around you you are safe and protected be determined and inspired clear your soul pathway your guidance messages, if you have received this card, it is time to invite the fire dragons to burn up any circumstances in your life that are not serving you. Call on them to delve deep into your childhood or past lives to release you from your past so that your future can shine. They have the ability and the power to travel along the timeline of your soul journey, clearing, healing, and transmuting as they do so. They are happy to do this while you sleep, if you ask them. Ask them to clear and light up the path in front of you each day. Then relax and trust that all is as it should be. These orange dragons have huge open hearts and love to keep you safe by creating a fiery wall of protection around you, around your home, and family. So remember to ask them to do so. Call on them to light you up in their flames and breathe inspiration into you. You may be amazed at the positive and courageous way you start to deal with people and situations. All right, Taurus, I hope this helped. Remember, you have fire dragons on your side to clear your soul path. Anytime that you feel, you know, feel this indecision creeping up on you, remember, let go and let God. Let go and let God. The, the all the dragons they work hand in hand with archangels. You know you have to be willing and ready to accept the healing that comes from from all angels and the spirit guides and you know especially from the five D and on. So Taurus, I hope this helped. Um, don't forget a uh, free personal reading for the hundred subscriber for my channel as well as the what's the word podcast okay thank you everybody and i will talk to you guys for the mid-november check-in bye